interesting. So yeah. you're so you're talking about black girls and their attitude to white girls. I am, yeah. Mm. I mean, um, I find that, that um, black girls are very bitter. Um, in the ones I know, and I know quite a few. What about the calls um, we've had today? Have you felt that our black female callers have been bitter? Yeah, a little bit bitter, but I think because they know that maybe you're a white presenter, yeah. and um, obviously because of your relationship and stuff like that, I think they're, they're toning down what they're saying um, quite a little bit. And I think also the black girls that listen to your show, and I think most people that listen to your show, mm. Um, they're a little bit more professional and have more intelligence than, you know, the ones that listen to, like, Nick Ferrari and offer their I comments. I should on. damn well hope so, too, Philippe, 100%. Well, I hope so, yeah, because he sends me mad. Um, <laughs> but also, I wanted to say that, um, that it's a very good show, and I'm, it's my first time calling in. Thank you, um, and but, welcome. You know, keep doing what you're doing. Thank it's you. Very good. Thanks a lot. Um, but, yeah, also, I think, as well, um, me personally, I, I don't particularly find um, black girls attractive. Um, I find a lot, I know a lot of my friends don't particularly find them that attractive either. Mm. Um, you know, you do have the Beyonce's and the Halle Berry's as you were talking about before. Yeah. Um, but there's quite few and far between. I think just on average, I think the average looking white woman is, is more attractive than the average looking black woman. God, I find you that know, so difficult to believe to though. Because there's some shocking looking white women if you just walk around. I mean, yeah, some absolute are. shockers, you know, and, 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 and you know, and, and some shocking looking black women, obviously. Yeah, and then, and then yeah. presumably the, the, the top of the tree are the, are the beautiful ones of both colours, I would have thought. Mm, yeah, but I think if, uh, if you were to ask most men, well, I don't know, most honest men, I think they would, be, they would, they would tell you that I think most, most white women mm. um, are, are more, on average, are more attractive than black women. And I think, um, me, I don't know if they're embarrassed say so but i certainly don't have any problems in saying so right i mean some of them they have their you know they have their hair someone that guy from kensal green yeah was saying you know the weave and they, yeah that's true the hair stuck to their head and you know they, they wear clothes and jeans which are far too small mm. and their hips and it's just pushing out and it's it's not nice and then when they're kissing their teeth and this this whole attitude it stinks and it's not attractive at all um, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why when they go to a club, no one cares about them. It's because, you know, maybe they need to upgrade um, their lifestyle and, and the way they act. I think, um, I think that, that's one and of the you, main problems. just checking, you feel comfortable using this sort of blanket term, they? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I, you know, I'm, try I'm trying to think of any, you know, anything yeah. I've been to. I mean, yesterday, just for example, as I said, I was at this mm. thing where, in my opinion, Jamelia was the best looking woman in the room by a million miles. But there were also, uh, another award was presented by those two girls from East Enders, which I don't watch. But two beautiful black girls, one very, very tall, one less which, tall. One that looked like a horse. Which one? Do no, you she doesn't look, didn't look like a horse at all. There's one with a large head. Um, did she have a large head? Not particularly. One, I, didn't know, I didn't know who either of them were. One was very tall and one was small. Well, they were both the kind mom, of... Don't know, don't know. Well, Forgive me, don't watch it. In, in East End, one was very tall, night. one was smaller. They both looked right, extremely sort of willowy and pretty. Very, very slim, both the of them. The tall one is the one with the big head. I know maybe because you're BBC, you don't really want to offer I your saw, opinion. Oh, she but didn't have a big head. I don't think she had a big head. She was. Well, I thought, who's that very pretty girl? And that's who she no, was something no, no, from no, East no. Enders. I, no? I've seen her. I've seen her in the flesh, and she has got a big head. And I'm also and thinking. I'm thinking of. I'm just thinking of random things I've been to. And if I if I recall, as for example, sort of lovers rock concert I went to, I don't know, last year or whatever. And there were some, as you quite rightly say, big black women with weaves yeah. stuck on the back and great big bums and, you know, yeah, size 22 that. jeans, skin tight. Yeah. Yes, there it's definitely were. But there were also, you know, I'd say probably half or more, you know, tall and slim and beautiful, beautiful, no. shining skin and, but, and, you know, and lots with, lots with natural hair and some with very yeah, willowy figures. Just like in, if you went to something with white women, there'd be fat ones, short ones and big, yeah. tall, skinny ones and just I like know. anyone else. I, I, I know what you're saying. I you think, know what I'm I saying. Like, I am telling the truth. I'm not just saying it to be you, nice. You know, no, yeah, but you, that, 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 that opinion is, is one that is held by a lot. When I do speak to a lot of um, my white friends yeah. and, um, you know, white girls that I do know, and mm. they're like, oh, but, you know, that girl's, that girl's attractive. And the people that they're considering to be attractive mm. aren't attractive. If they, maybe, you know, they maybe get a few points for not being obese, mm -hmm. another point for... You know, maybe having all their limbs intact. That's about it. <laughs> well, it's, it's just not, you, not because you. Well, you don't fancy black women, full stop, do you? And that's not, it. Not, not full stop. I, I, like, you know, as I said, I find Beyonce attractive. I find Halle Berry very attractive and right. stuff like that. But right. these 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 people in the minority. This isn't the majority. Mm. If you go and scoop up. Yeah, um, but it's not the majority of white women. God, most white women don't mm, look like, you I know, Liz Hurley or or, or, um, yeah. or blinking Sharon Stone. I wish we damn well did, but we yeah, don't. I think most of them least, at least look average. Do I you? think most of them at least are an average, but most I find most black women are repulsive. I find They're that nice extreme. What you're saying is so extreme. No, but it's just the truth. I, I, I'm prepared repulsive to repulsive is, is a, is a terrible thing to say.
and the next twenty callers say, "Oh, I." And do you have? Do you have? Do you have a? Man. Do you have a mum or sisters or cousins or nieces? Yeah, or? my mum's very pretty. Yeah. Well, she's but not mom, repulsive. But, no, she's not repulsive. My mum's very pretty, uh, but um, so many other women in my family, you know, they're obese and. Blimey, you know, I hope they're not listening. Well, I'm not really bothered to be honest. And also, um, the the other guy that rang before, the yeah. Rastafarian. Mm. Um, yeah, his views do borderline on racist, and I think it's, it's, I don't find it acceptable because, you know... Uh, what about your like views, though? Yours are as extreme in, in, in the opposite direction as his are in, in his. <laughs> no, and yours probably more offensive than his it. because you've been no. so, you know, you've been so outspoken in your, in your, in your absolute loathing. I know, but he's, he's talking about, you know, people almost as if, you, you know, you, you sold out your, your entire heritage by um, wanting to be with a white woman. What's he saying? Well, you know you what know? he's saying. I know what he's saying, but I don't, I don't, I don't agree with it at all. And I think I find most Rastafarians talk like that and really don't really know what they're saying at all. God, so, Philippe, I, I'm, 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 I'm sure. I mean, I can see by the I by know. the telephone lines that you no, have offended good. an enormous swathe of the population. That's, and I'm no, not, I'm not no, surprised. That's good. I'm, that's good. You know, if, if somebody said all white women are repulsive, imagine the calls. And you've said yeah, that about. Well, the thing is, the calls will come in. However. Mm. Um, tell you know, tell I, me the truth. Are you are you being deliberately provocative, or do you? No, mean no, it? no, 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 no. I'm not doing a Nick Ferrari. No, I'm I'm just being absolutely honest. I personally, you know, I don't find them attractive in general. My friends don't find them attractive in general. And I think, you know, a lot of black men don't find them attractive in Absolutely general. Absolutely extraordinary. Thank you for the call. I mean, I asked the question. I didn't think, and that's the truth. I was going to get a call like that. If you're offended. I can only apologise, but obviously this is a platform for London. Philippe saying what he really thinks, but I, I, I through no, no, no planning at all. The next um, call on the on the screen is from Valroy in Forest Hill, and it says prefers black girls. Hello, Valroy. Wow, that last phone call for this, sir. Yeah. <laughs> You're cool. going to get a lot of phone calls from a lot of we have people got. from all races. I are. know, I know. Um, what, what he just said is just <sighs> throw me off. I, I was going to comment on what the Rasta guy was um, talking about with the phone call before. Yeah, but don't comment. Comment on this instead. I mean, what he what he said <laughs> I, has been. I, 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 yeah, he said that um, if most black men are um, honest, mm. we'd we'd say honestly that we fancy we prefer the white women yeah. to the black women. Yeah. Um, now I get asked all the time, um, who would your fantasy woman would be, and. They, whenever I give the answer, it always surprises people. My answer would be Heather Small from M People. Okay, I understand. I saw her the other day. I think she's mm. gorgeous. Even black girls say, who? Her? Oh, Why? Because she's, she's got a fabulous body for a start. She's very okay, compact. Thank you. Please. She's thank you. highly you. toned, and she's actually got these very cute features, hasn't she? Yeah, I mean... I mean she, and she looks she, strong, very strong looking. Yeah, she is... A very attractive yes, woman is. with strong African features. She's dark. She's That's got right. nice full lips. She's got a backside to kill for. Mm -hmm. I mean, forget Beyonce. And she's petite, but very, very fulsome, isn't yeah. she? She's both. Um, yeah. What, what that guy was saying about black women. Yeah. <laughs> about she, he finds them repulsive. I know. I know. I find it unbelievable. Very extreme. Very. Yeah, extreme. but um, yeah, it, it's very easy for um, black people when they say, "Oh, their their fantasy." woman would be Hayley Berry or Beyonce. Mm. I think mm. it's too obvious for me. I mean, yeah. um, to go for the light-skinned women. And another thing I wanted to say as well, mm. Vanessa, mm. Um, what, what, when, when black women go mm. for white men, it doesn't bother me about mixed relationships or whatever. Yes. What does bother me is when you get, like, dark-skinned women, you get a, quite a few dark-skinned women, I can think of two right now, mm. um, who will only go for light-skinned men. Really? Yeah, they won't, they won't check me. They won't check for me. I'm dark-skinned. They won't check for me because I'm too dark for them. Mm -hmm. They won't go for a white man because it won't look good. But mm -hmm. they want a light-skinned man so when they have kids, they can have uh, your so-called, inverted commas, good hair. Good and they, could be li they won't be as dark as them. So exactly what, what black women have called in and said to me, you're saying the same in reverse. So they said yeah, uh, black I mean, men won't look at us. Women. They look right I'm not saying all dark women, but yeah, there but are some. a few dark women yeah. that would blatantly say that, that they'll only check for light skin or mixed race men. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, and I, I won't get a look in. And um, I just want to say for the dark, um, for the black women out there that do go to clubs and say that black men go for white women, mm. I'm not one of them. You know what I, mean? I mean, there's a very, there's a lot of attractive white women out there, but my preference is black women. Thank you very much. I mean, this is, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just finally assimilating what Philippe actually said, and and one an absolutely outrageous comment to make, really, when you think about it. I suppose he's entitled to his opinion, but what an opinion. Taking calls on this, I mean, if you're offended by what he said, 
I, I can only say that it, I think what he said was pretty damned offensive. I'm fairly offended myself, and uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if you are. But 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 this is a program where people say what they think, and uh, some of the things they think are really quite extraordinary. And on the line, David in Enfield. David, morning. Good morning, Vanessa. Well, you're responding to what Philippe said. What do you think? Oh man, Philippe is on another planet. Yep. Because really, what he's trying to say that um, we as black boys who are born of of, of, a, of a mother, a black yeah. mother, yeah. we're hating our mothers, we're well, hating our daughters, we're hating our sisters. Well, I did say to him, "What about your mom? What about your sister?" I did say that. The lost soul. Mm. Listen, everybody has the right to pick and choose who they want to be with. Yes. But at the end of the day, listen, we we are attracted to whoever we think is right for us. Mm. And I believe women are women. And as a black person, I prefer to be with my own. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that white people ain't attractive. There are attractive white people mm -hmm. out there. There are attractive Asian people out of there. Course. But you've got to decide what you want to do is right. But don't start taking yourself out of the equation and putting other people down, especially your own. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's very sad, for, especially for black men. Mm. We're, stri we're struggling at the moment just to be right on the planet mm. because we're classed as muggers and whatever mm. else. We're a waste of time. We don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. And then for him to make a statement like that, we don't even have a chance. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I do. I understand exactly what you're saying. I understand oh. exactly what you're saying. Thank you. Thanks for the call. Let's go to Glenn in Shepherd's Bush. Hello, Glenn. Hi, Vanessa. God, this um, has taken a bit of a sort of semi-violent oh. turn that I didn't, I must say, didn't expect at all. Not, oh, that, not wow. that level of, uh, I really didn't. Actually. I don't harp on about him too much because I'll tell you straight, yeah. he's smoking too much weed. That <laughs> we don't, one. that we don't know, we can, we can only imagine. Let me imagine. tell you something. Yep. For what he just said, disgraced his own immediate family. Mm. It must be weed he's smoking because let me tell you something, no black man could come on the radio and disgrace himself mm -hmm. like that. In, in public without not being on something and I guarantee you the girl he's with she's what we call a gorgon and when I say a gorgon it's the type of girl that not even a she most probably is an English girl but no English man wants her that's what he's tucked up with oh that's what he's tucked up with we, I mean what? I just don't know him I can't make I don't know what Trust he's doing me. or who he's, he's got, with he's, he's, no got one them, he's got one of them girls that not even white men want themselves trust me oh please and the other thing I wanted to say really in general with the successfulness I don't want to run off the agenda the agenda is about the successfulness yes the thing I find with black men that do get successful is that when you get taken in you're taken into another world if you want to call it another world mm. meaning that when he's meeting up with all these other successful people within the establishment, yep. there's hardly any black people there, and I think slowly and surely, you're chiseled away from it. Right. I don't even think it's by choice. Look at John Barnes, he was with a white woman, mm -hmm. and then he ended up, he ended up, must probably knocked his head and said, boy, I'm going to get someone else. He ended up going out with Miss Jamaica or something like that after. Mm -hmm. It's just, a, I don't think it's anything much. I think it's where you're taken away from, because it, if I'm, if I turn rich tomorrow and successful, mm -hmm. I ain't going to be living in East London around all the, the normal people. I'm probably going to be up there spending my half a meal with the other people spending half a meal, and I, and I can guarantee you, they're not going to be black people. Okay. Well, well People have suggested it's a numbers thing. It's it a question of who a happens to be there. Thing. But I'll yeah. tell you this in general. You see the black woman? Mm -hmm. I love all different women. Mm -hmm. But personally, as a black man, mm -hmm. I love black women. I love their shape. I love everything about them. And I'm not, me personally, I'm sure about that. But it doesn't mean I don't like other people. When I say I don't like them, I could look at them and say they look nice. Mm -hmm. And, oh, that's a pretty girl. Because mm -hmm. I know what pretty is. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that at the end of the day I'll settle down with one of them. But it doesn't mean that I don't like them. But I just love where I'm from, you know. I kiss myself as a black man, and I love black women. <laughs> Glenn, thank, um, thank you man, for the call. Another caller. Yeah. He ain't speaking for no one but himself. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the call. I like your humour, I like your nice nature, and I like your passion. Thank you very much indeed for the call. Blimey, it's all kicking off here. It really does seem to be. Um, and, and, and the truth is, uh, fairly unexpected uh, unexpected calls. Let me read you this, though. This is, um, I've been asked to read this anonymously, um, and, and, and you'll find out why, I think. I'm a black woman, 
married to an ex-England international footballer. Yes, unique situation. However, this is due to the fact that he has a high self-esteem. He's an educated man who worked out that he didn't need the acceptance of the white man's world to realize that he has both potential and the ambition to become successful. British black men find it difficult to realize they don't need to fit in. They need to break down the barriers by allowing integration on all levels. However, there's nothing wrong with races mixing if it's for the right reasons and not for status acceptance. The black man needs to free himself, not just physically, but mentally from the enslaved mindset. Black women married to footballers remember this is a black woman married to an ex-England international footballer writing. Black women married to footballers tend not to seek the trashy publicity that so many of their white counterparts seek. Or could it be, she says, that the media are not interested? As I always casually scan my daughter's Hello Mag, etc., to find black people in the little box pictures at the back of the mag. My daughter, who's a stunning and very attractive black woman and frequents haunts where black footballers hang out due to her being in that circle due to her father's profession states that they are mainly airheads and finds it difficult to strike up a conversation of any caliber also to one of your previous callers there are plenty of black women who earn good money and are successful and can afford to buy a drink at 30 plus pounds he needs to get out more and open his eyes to a world that's more integrated than he thinks the UK finds it hard to promote positive black role models I could go on, but I've got a bad cold that's killing me. Sorry for the spelling. I'm unwell. Don't worry about the spelling. Thank you very much indeed for that. And that is from um, the wife of an ex-England international footballer. She's black. He's black. That's her view. She should know. On the line, John in Croydon. Hello, John. Great, Vanessa. First time caller. Welcome, sir. Nice to talk to you. Blimey, some nasty, I think downright nasty and unpleasant things have been said on the show today, yeah. for, which, for which I'm sorry because I wouldn't want to be the, 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 the sort of channel for that kind of stuff particularly. I really wouldn't. Um, what do you make of it? Well, at the end of the day, I, I mean, I look at it this way. Whoever you go out with, you go out with. If you mm. date black women, you date black women. Mm. If you date white women, you date white women. And yes, in some aspects, you know, you do get people that will say, well, I won't date black women because they're too this or too that. And yeah. you get some men, i.e. like George, mm. who says, well, he can, I think what he was trying to say mm. was that uh, we shouldn't date outside our race because it's weak. And the whole slavery thing yeah. comes into it. And yeah. this is going back from years. Yeah. You know, and what you have to, re what you've got to look at is that we've, Quite not so you've moved on from it in a sense but you know you'll never forget it mm. but what you have to remember is that years ago there were people of mixed races anyway i mean a lot of people how many people do you know that bob marley was mixed race well quite you know and you've got to look into religion as well there's loads of people that are under certain religious banners and people are mixed mm. so if you're saying well i can't date this person because they're this color but yet they're of this religious religious persuasion. What are you saying? It's a double standard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do know what you're saying. I mean, what what do you think would would inspire a black guy to ring up and 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 be quite so insulting and quite so dismissive of, really of, of black know, women? I mean, you know, and and having and, and I said, your mum. What about your mum? What about your sister? And he said, yeah, well, my mum's very pretty, but the mm. rest of my family, some of them are obese. They're this, they're that. No, I mean, you I, know. I, I just, to me, I think that's tr that's well and truly disrespectful. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because one person can't speak for a whole race, and he really doesn't represent many black people out there. And also, it's absurd to imagine that all black women look alike, or all white women look alike. Nah. All of, it just doesn't make any sense. If you go out on any occasion and look in the street, you'll see that's not the case, is it? Well, that's it. You know, you've got pretty black women, pretty white women, Asians, etc., etc. Yes. Et it's what you class as beautiful. Yes. That's it. It's down to the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Yes. Some people like this, some people like that. You know, you shouldn't be forced to say, well, because I'm a black guy, I must date black women, etc., etc. And just to reiter reiterate, yeah. this what that guy was saying, there are many black women out there that do earn their own money, yeah. right? And they're doing their own thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I just thought his call was <laughs> well and truly disrespectful, and you're going to get loads more calls on it anyway. Yeah, John, thanks very much. On the line, Anya in Tooting. Hi, Anya. Hello, good morning. Morning. Um, sorry, I was a bit thrown by um, your, I think it's, is it Philippe? Yes, yes. And, and so on, because I, I completely had what I had to say, kind of like that, and then he kind of came with his absolute nonsense. Mm. I mean, uh, basically, I think it's really sad that um, in order to, for people to kind of justify why they particularly are going out with whomever they choose, yep. they feel the need to denigrate other people. Mm. And I think it's particularly sad that they're seeking to even denigrate those of their own race. Now, um, your Bob and Philippe, I mean, if he has a, a kind of like predilection for white women, fair enough, that's his taste, that's okay. Yeah. Um, but why feel the need to come on a national radio station and denigrate black women? 
it, to me, that's that's really abhorrent. I think it's totally disgusting. I can't really, um, I can't defend him, but all I would say is there were a few callers earlier from black women saying things like, you know, um, men, black men look right through us. They look right past us to the white women at the other side of the nightclub or wherever we are. And I suppose he was... their experience, and they're only stating a fact. They're yeah. only speaking about their experience, which is what we're actually doing. Sure. We're not coming on the show to actually talk about facts and figures and so on like that. No, certainly not. And I suppose he was saying, well, this is why. Well, the, no, but the fact... Well, it wasn't nice. Was just, it was horrible. What he was doing was just really totally being offensive. Yeah, true. One of the points that I really wanted to make was that, I mean, we hear about Robert um, De Niro and so on like mm. that, and it's quite obvious. He had uh, a specific taste towards um, black women, whether black and, and slightly mixed or so. Or Boris but Becker, I, for example. Pardon me? Or Boris Becker. Yes, exactly. Mm. But, you know, so... It, it does happen in, in, in both ways. Mm. Um, but to me, I think, yes, it does actually stem from slavery, and I know there's probably lots of people that will start groaning and moaning about that. However, if you, in society, black had been devalued for so long, mm. and in, in trying to perpetrate something like slavery, you've had to dehumanize people. Yes. And which is the reason why your end product are people like Philippe, who so hate themselves that that's what they do. And, and actually, the white women he's actually going out with, to me, that isn't actually a positive, because to know that somebody is actually going out with you, not really necessarily for you, the individual, mm. but because of what you represent to him, is, is also quite sad, that they're actually finding themselves with mm. as being of, of, of some class. I mean, it's, it's really abhorrent. You've got people like the jades of this society that these men are actually going out with. And, and you're really trying to say that those are women that that other the ordinary black women should feel, oh gosh, you know, I've missed out on this 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 footballer <laughs> for some trashy um, type that that's hanging around in some club trying to pick up pick up some some guy just because of his bank balance. It's hardly class, is it? Anya, I'm going to stop you just because it's time for the news. Thank you very much indeed. We are taking calls on this. The calls really are flaying in thick and fast. For the next hour, I'll, I'll talk even more quickly than I normally do, and we will rush through them at a prodigious rate, so don't feel you've called in vain. I'll do my best to get to you. It's time for the news to travel and the weather at 11 o'clock. Uh, Dion, who says, Your most black women are repulsive caller is lost. How can he, as a black man who came from a black woman, talk this way? I'm not as shocked as you sounded when taking the call. There are black men out there who feel that way, and it just showed how sad and fearful some people are of their own race shame he can't see that poor white woman who has to mate with that I'm not angry with him I feel sorry for him poor lost lamb please don't mention my name that guy you've just had on who thinks black women are unattractive is making me mad can we remember that beauty is in the eye of the beholder I think this guy's talking about the typical mumpy girl you may see winding up herself at carnival there are beautiful black girls and ladies who are all over natural without the weave who carry themselves with professionalism examples include Baroness Amos and Angie Lamar please let us celebrate the beauty of our black women inside and out um, Wayne in Catford says Philippe has obviously had something horrendous happen to him in his life to actually believe the nonsense he's just spouted if he were white he'd undoubtedly be called racist. Um, this is from uh, Raby in North London. Uh, I have to say your show is the highlight of my day. Thank you. With regard to the topic today, most especially that caller who said black women are repulsive, Lord have mercy on him. He needs to sort out the roots of his repulsiveness. I come from Nigeria. And what my mother always says is one man's meat is another man's poison. Attractiveness is not down to colour or size. It's all chemical, Vanessa. I've been with a white man and a black man. I have no preference. I find they all have their own attractiveness. For me, it's not always the looks. It's other things, like they dance real well or they know how to cook or they have a dimple. A variety of reasons. Thank Thank you for being so full of life, Vanessa. Keep going, my dear sister. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. I'll try. Um, and then George. George was not Philippe. Philippe was the caller who did the uh, charming all black women are repulsive phrase, which I'm not happy to keep repeating, but just so you know what's going on. But George was an earlier caller, a Rasta, who said uh, black men who go out with white women are weak. It's all about disloyalty. And he also said this peculiar thing about how if you see a black and white mixed race couple walking down the street, they always look uncomfortable. And if it's the woman who's black and the man who's white, it looks like the woman's the man in the relationship, he said. And uh, lots of people have really disliked that enormously. Um, this is from, for example, Otto, who says, I'm a black lady in a long-term relationship with a Finnish guy. I was attracted to him, not his race. I discovered in my early 20s that younger black men weren't interested in me, and I was only approached by older black guys and white or Middle Eastern men. I I don't think I'm ugly. I'm very natural looking. I carry a huge afro. I'm not heavily made up. However, I'm very well educated and I've often wondered if this was a turn off for black men. My boyfriend thinks I'm the bee's knees and he loves my body and the way I look. As for the last caller who says that black women don't look as good as white women, he's probably really ugly and no black woman would touch him with a barge pole. George the Rasta spoke absolute drivel. 
This is from Paul. That by his own admission, he's never really experienced. I married my Guyanese wife in 1977 after three years of courting her. I've had no problem walking down the road with her holding hands in 33 years. If others want to stare, and they did and sometimes still do, we don't give a toss. It's not our problem. Our three children, now adults, have mainly aligned themselves with white partners, although my son did go out with a beautiful-looking black girl prior to eventually settling with a white girl. But what does it matter if the couple are happy and devoted? Um, Nicola, I write further to your ignorant caller, George. I'm a 26-year-old mixed race woman and I found George extremely ignorant and foolish. My parents have been married for over 30 years. I'm the eldest of six siblings, all with the same parents. My mother's of Irish heritage. My father's of Jamaican heritage. I'm extremely proud of where I come from and I don't believe that I'm confused about my background. I strongly believe that this is because I've been brought up in a very stable, loving and strong family environment. My parents have instilled us all with self-respect and educated us about both sides of our heritage. My parents are very much in love. They hold hands and have set us with high standards of what to respect from relationships and indeed what love is all about. If more people look beyond the race of an individual and concentrated on forming long-standing and committed relationships, maybe there'd be a few, a few fewer insecure children in society. I know my parents are listening. And I want to thank them for making me the happy and successful person that I am. Nicola's mum and dad, congratulations. She's delighted with you and with everything you've done for her. OJ says, black women have firm features, which also last for almost a lifetime. They retain their beauty longer with less amount of wrinkles. They're also more able to give fire for fire in the bedroom. Every race has its own virtues. I could take issue with that too, OJ. You know I could. On the line, Terry in Stratford. Hello, Terry. Hey, doing Phil. Love you to bits. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm doing fine, although a little bit surprised by the, I don't know, the nastiness that some of this has taken, I suppose. Well, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm an African, yep. Jamaican, Englishman. That's to start off with. What a fabulous and combination, though. That's it. No, I know well, exactly where I'm coming from. I was yeah. a woman for 15 years, black woman. I've got two lovely kids from her. Yep. I'm not with her no more, sadly enough, but I'm mm. with now with a white woman. Mm. In between, I was, as you say, mowing the grass. <laughs> and I was with black and white women. Yes. thing is, I'm now with a white woman. She's from Poland. I've been with her for three years. Yep. In between then, if there's a black woman approach me and I was attracted to her, me and those attracted, we'd be together now. But yeah. obviously, we're not. Right. And us, the, 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 the Rasta guy who rung up and said all that stuff about um, um, so selling out. Fogelson, there's so much points he had got was correct, but no one's selling out. As long as you know where you're from, mm. as long as you let the next generation know exactly what was going on. Mm. My girlfriend, we sit down and have debates about so much different topics about black and white. Mm. Any program that comes on telly, if you get a chance to see something on telly, we, both of us are sitting there watching it. Yeah. I know plenty of black guys was not going to be sitting there watching it. They're going to be out there doing other things. Right, right. right. And so uh, and sometimes you get some black women, they've got a problem with me being with a white girl. And mm. then, then again, you've got our black women, they're okay with it. Yeah, did, 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 did any party, as you say, the, the, the woman that you settled down with originally, the mother of your children, she's a black woman. Now you're with a white woman. You sound as if you're very happy. Did any part of you think, oh, you know, she's white. Should I go there? Should I be serious with her? Should I, you know, I, I, I ought not to. I'm betraying my roots at all. Did any part of you think that? You know, you know what, when my little boy said something one day to me, he said, um, there's a girl that he likes and mm. in school, and he's asking me questions, should he be with her because um, she's white? Mm. That made me think, and I started thinking. And that really made me think, I told him, you know what, mm. you go and do what you want to go and do. Yeah. I mean, he's only, he's only, he's only eight now anyway, so, you know, so I didn't really go talk to him like he's a man, but mm. basically I told him, you go and do what you want to do. Yeah? And at the same time, I also let him know exactly where he comes from. And I'm not talking about, oh, look, um... You were slaves, you went on a boat, and that's where you ended up. No, mm. I'm telling the things that's happening now, and things were happening before. And yes. there's a lot of guys, I mean, I'll, I'll look at, listen how I speak, right? Most of the time, people, they hear my voice, they think, oh, some cockney geezer from somewhere. And when they see me, they're a bit shocked. Mm. Now, I make sure I explain everything to my little girl and my son. Mm. And I make sure they know exactly where they're going, and hopefully they get to where they're going in life. But I make sure that what I went through, what my forefathers went through, mm. and what's happening now, I make sure they understand everything. So if anyone ever comes up to me and says, you know what, like some guys I know call me coconut, some black guys I know call, and the thing is to me, I think, oh, because you're not with a white woman, I'm a coconut. Oh, excuse me, a couple of years ago he's a white woman, but all of a sudden you're not with one, so I'm a coconut. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I listen, there's so much black, beautiful black women out there with the biggest bottoms, the smallest bottoms. You know what, people actually look at someone and say, um, oh, they're disgusting. You know what, this guy, if he was on TV, I'm telling you now, I think there would even be white people out there who want to do something to him. The white people that I know, anyway. I think, I think you, may, you may well I, have I, a point. I know white people out there, they, list, they don't look at colour themselves. I know some white guys, they, they, you know what, they don't even see white people. They're mm. more interested just in black girls, because there's something about them that they're attracted to. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And it just makes me sick. You know what, let everyone get on with what they don't want to do in life, because if we're worried about so much of this sort of stuff, oh, you're with this person, you're with that person. Mm. Look what things are going on anyway, out there. Very now, true, very true. Not that on the head, yeah. don't you think it'll be, make life a bit more easier? Yes. 
I do. Thank you, Terry. Yes, I do. I agree. On the line, D in Notting Hill. Hello, D. Hi, Vanessa. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much I've indeed. I've seen you with your man, and he's gorgeous. Yes, he is very, very, <laughs> very nice. But he's. But you see, I feel. You see, I feel this tremendous pressure. As soon as anyone says that, I come kicking in straight away with. Yeah, but he's absolutely delightful. You know, he's very. You I've know, seen I, feel, him. I, I I've don't want anyone to him. think he's he all about the way just because of the way he looks. Although, of course, it partly is, but not all. Okay, well, well, I'd say I'd say ten percent the looks and ninety percent he's lovely. That's all. Okay, well mm. he looks lovely. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, Vanessa, I'm mm. calling about Philippe. Yes. I live in Notting Hill, and if I see him, I think I'll brain him. Yep, I'm sure. He, shouldn't, he shouldn't go out in the street were today. absolutely disgusting. They were disgraceful. Mm. I think the thing about Philippe, what he doesn't seem to understand is, you seem, you, pe people attract people that are similar to them. Now, he's, you've got black trash, and you've got white trash. Yeah. He's obviously black trash, and he's, 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 he's coming into contact with people that are similar to him, and that's why he's saying the things that he's saying about black women. Mm. Um, for me, I think it's a self-hatred, self-loathing thing. Right. Um, I'm a black woman, mm. and um, I've only ever dated black men, but I have lots of white male friends that yeah. I've had for years, yeah. and I actually adore them to death. Mm -hmm. And it's about who you're attracted to. Mm. I'm attracted to black men, not because I'm a black woman, mm. but I just happen to be attracted to black men. Yep. But it doesn't stop me liking anybody. I have friends from all different colors, different races. Um, you know, I am attracted, I suppose, to white, gingery, fre freckly men. And most people say, ugh, how can you like ginger, freckly men? <laughs> but I do. Boris Becker, I think he's absolutely divine. Well, you fancy Boris Becker, gosh. Yeah, I do. Ginger, freckly men. Yeah. That strawberry blonde. Not that orange hair, but mm. the strawberry, sort of blonde, freckly yeah. kind of look. But I've never actually met a white guy um, like that. But I do come into contact with lots of white men that mm. have sort of wanted to go out with me. And we've been out on lots of dates, but we haven't sort of gone that extra... Bit. And yes. that's not because I think there's anything wrong with mixed relationships, because most of my friends, black friends and white friends, happen to be in mixed relationships. Mm. And a lot of people in my family are in mixed relationships, so I have lots of mixed races, if that's what you want to call them, nieces and nephews, mm. etc. And I have absolutely nothing against it. But Philippe, he's on a different planet. He's talking for himself. Mm. He probably looks in the mirror every day and says to himself, I wish I wasn't black. I hate myself. For his family, for his mother, I don't know what she must think. To hear her son say that about his own people is just disgusting. But he's lost. And I really do feel sorry for Philippe because he's so stupid. He doesn't actually realise how stupid he is. And I think that's quite sad for him, really. Dee, thank you. Thank you for the call. Let, let's go to Veronica. Veronica, you're responding to the same thing, un unsurprisingly. Yeah, I'm responding to um, Philippe and yeah. to the email that was sent originally. Mm. And the thing with Philippe is, I mean, how can you, it's that blanket thing that I cannot stand. Mm. And I've, I'm, I'm in a relationship now and I've gone out with black men. I actually, I'm one of these black women that grew up around white people. So up until I was about 16, my parents sent me to Nigeria when I was about 16, 17. Yeah. That was, it was when I was in Nigeria, I fancied black men for the first time. Mm. Because I always used to have posters of Kevin Costner, Stephen Dorff, Christopher Reeve, all these people. I never fancied black men. And even till today, I'm quite picky. Mm. With, you know, a lot of black men that black women like, like Morris Chestnut, I, I don't see what they see. I, shall, I don't see it. Mm. And I take Justin Timberland, um, Timberlake over Usher any day. No way. But I would. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's just absurd. <laughs> really? But that's, just, that's just a person. you get what I'm saying? It's a personal... Oh, wow. I, I find that so difficult to understand. I don't, I don't see what people see in Usher, black and white girls, but anyway... Oh, Lord, I, Lord. I mean, I could explain, but this is probably not the appropriate arena, but blimey. And it's not that we don't have the time for No, that, unfortunately, I wish we did. But I, I cannot stand, mm. and a lot of black women will probably, you know, they, they won't admit this to themselves, but I had an issue growing up in this country mm. that for a very long time, from primary school, secondary school, I was told I had a flat nose, big lips. You're not told that you're pretty. You know, you're not made to believe that you're pretty. And if only now I look at myself and think, oh, my God, do you know, white or black mm. i'm a pretty girl yeah you know whether society thinks i am that's not the issue i i'm i'm a pretty girl i have friends from different races mm. from different backgrounds white black asian chinese from everywhere yes and i look at all my friends and they're all pretty black girls and the white girls but and i've been called a, a bounty mm -hmm. which i think is better than coconut but anyway yes so i think what he said is very insulting and if you're a black man and you come from a black woman and you say black women are ugly and they're this and they have weaves I mean, Victoria Beckham wears extensions. Jordan wears extensions. What, I, I've, got a head full, I've got a head full of extensions at the <laughs> I mean, moment. I wear it a wee as well, but I have long hair. I've got, <laughs> so I've got long, long hair, and I've got a whole load of extensions stuck extensions. in at the moment. So, you know, for him to come out and say that, he's like, come on now. 
Mm. Are you really that stupid? Are you really that ignorant? You know, so there's that aspect. And I do find that um, a lot of, you know, men do say, of, you know, guys I've gone out with do say to me that black girls have an attitude. And, and I say to them, what kind of attitude? What, like, what are you talking about? Mm. Like, I don't understand it. Why are you painting all of us with the same brush? Why don't you just get to know someone first? Because I've been told by guys that you don't behave like a black girl. And I was like, I find that insulting because I have black friends who are women. You and, know, like... All day, people have been saying, you know, I'm really attracted to this, I'm really attracted to that, you know, I like white girls, I don't like white girls, I really like black girls, I know I'm black men, white men, blah, blah, blah. Do you not think, I mean, maybe I sound like an idiot, maybe I sound like some dope out of a Disney movie, but but I'm only telling the truth. Do you not find that, that that you know, you, you, you can find yourself responding to somebody, of the op well, if you're heterosexual, of the opposite sex, who is nothing like your type in any shape or form, but somebody who looks at you or who pays your kind of attention or who... You you know, suddenly says something that you find devastatingly attractive, and, and although you really like tall big men, this is a small, short, skinny man, or the other way round. You no, suddenly think, well, I, I like tall guys, so I will not go out with. A I did. I tried a short really? girl once, and it did not work. Really? So I like. I, I'm. I mean, I'm five foot two, and my boyfriend six foot five. Yeah. That's quite an extreme, but I like tall guys. Because so. I just think that sometimes, you know, someone, sometimes somebody, you know, touches you and it's a kind of chemical thing, and you, you, you know, you never thought you could fancy X, Y, or Z, but you just do. <laughs> You just suddenly do. You just think, God, you know that person that I never even thought of twice, I never looked at, I never thought was my type. Well, blimey, am I hot for that person like mad? Yeah, it, it can happen. It can, it happen. can happen. And, and that's that, why I think all these kind of blanket announcements of I only ever do this and I only date white, black, Jewish, you know, Muslim, that's all I ever do. And then and then actually in real life, it, life has a very strange way of, 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 is, of yeah. bringing you towards people who you... And also you hear people say, I always fancied redheads. And look at my wife, she's a brunette or something. And it's it, somebody individual touches you in an individual way. All I'm really trying to say is that I think these big sort of enormous pronouncements about what we do and don't do and who we will and won't do it with can be knocked on the head just on the basis of one flickering eyelash. And you, you can't know. be too loud about it because when yeah. you do go up like me, if I do end up with a short man as part of my kids, it'll be the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to have short people ringing in, insulted. We will have, by the end of this show, we will have offended. Oh God, sake, we'll have offended every single person in the whole of London effortlessly in one show, and I'm really sorry. My, my point is really, I'm, 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 I'm not black. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Palestinian Arab, actually. Right. And for me, a lot of this actually isn't. It, it's not a black phenomenon. Uh, I see it a lot in Arabs as well, actually, and and I think it really comes down to the point that. To me, I don't see this about uh, being about relationship. I mm. see this being an, an issue about status. It's about aspiration. Yep. It's actually about possession. Um, it, it, it's a mark of success for, for a number of people. If I'm, if I'm successful, I have my, my, my trophy house, I have my trophy Ferrari, and I have my trophy wife. Mm. Um, and my, uh, and to, in today's standards, the trophy wife is, is, is the white blonde. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it's what's uh, unfortunately become accepted. And I say unfortunately, I'm not actually personally, I'm, I, I don't have a, uh, uh, I, I'm not a blonde kind of guy. I, actually, mm. I, I have my preference. My preference is, is dark hair, and it's a purely personal thing. Um, but today, I think it's very much seen that, uh, if, certainly in the Arab society, that uh, if, if, if you've really succeeded, you do walk around with your trophy wife, who may be a, a white European, who may be a, a white blonde. And I, uh, it's not about antipathy to your own. It's about, it's about the fact that you, you want to show success. And unfortunately, for a number of people, it's shallow enough that success is about, uh, is about walking with your blonde. Mm. And you think that's true even now and nothing's changed? Or uh, little, sorry, little has changed? Uh, yeah, I do, I do think very little has changed. I mean, I, I still see it very regularly in, in, in my own society. It, it saddens me because it's not actually, it's no longer about the relationship. It's no longer about, you know, what relationship I have with the person I'm with. It's about how do people see me? Um, what's the perception of me? Am I, am, am I seen to be at the right status? Am I, am I seen to have been a successful individual? Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really sad reflection on, on, on personal relationships with, with the person that you're with. And I agree with you. Thank you. On the line, Tony in Dulwich. Hello, Tony. Hello, Vanessa. Morning, sir. Tell me, tell me what you make of this one. Well, three points, Vanessa. You, you're talking about the celebrities first. Yeah. Right. You've got your A-list celebrities, mm. right, who will stay with their black women, like I say, Will Smith and them people. Then what? you've got your wannabe celebrities, your footballers, yeah. and your so-called little, so-called little pop stars, who as soon as they get somewhere, then, as the guy said, the trophy blonde on their arms feel that they've ex been accepted. Yeah. And then you've got the, the last one, the dealers, who, it doesn't really make no, they'll stay with their own, like Jamelia and whatever. But turn it on its head, 
Yeah. Sarah Cox and Camden Oathway, they went out with black guys, and as soon as they got into the limelight, where they ditched them, didn't they? Did they? I mean, who knows why, though? Yeah, but you know... You just never I, know whether I, I it's because they, cause they liked them, or I, they didn't like them, or I, because... I, I, but they've been going out with these guys in when they weren't around, mm. and as soon as they got into the limelight, they ditched them. So, um, is it... Ex is it is it acceptable? Is it a case of to say that we, as black persons, to, we feel to say that we we will be accepted if we marry a white person if we're in the limelight? Vice versa, if a white person is in the limelight, it wouldn't be seen good for him to be going out with a black person, a black man especially. I don't know so much about the black women. I just remember years ago when I was on the Big Breakfast. You remember Sharon Davis was on for a very short time on the Big Breakfast, right. and she was going out. She was married, in she fact, to Redmond. Yeah. Redmond, exactly, and and Derek Redmond, and, and and I remember her saying that she she was in receipt of all kinds of hideous mail and threats and blah blah. And I I don't want I don't want to tempt fate or I'm touching wood here and crossing everything. But I mean I I I have never had that. I've never had a single nasty. Maybe one, maybe one or two, possibly. But that's all in the last however many years. I haven't I haven't had anybody saying. I've heard a lot. Nothing. Two guys come on there. The girl from Nigeria and yeah. the guy says that he's gone out with a girl from Poland. Yeah. And I'd like to ask the question. Is if we you you was our only around black person, mm. would this person actually go out to look for a white person? Ah. <laughs> Blimey. I'd like to ask that question. If we, if we wasn't living in Britain, yeah. to actually go out to look for a white, I am a, a white person. Okay, well, you've, you've asked it. I don't, I don't know what the answer is, but thanks for the question. Tony, it's good to talk to you. You've got to go. Hi, Vanessa. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Now, what do you think's going on this morning, for goodness well, sake? Well, I don't know. I think the initial uh, point of debate, what the guy said yesterday, is looking at it from a real negative side. To be yeah. honest, the celebrities part of it, I'm, I don't give monkeys about. If a white woman wants to go with a black man or vice versa, I think it's all good. Yeah. I think it's the way, I think it's romantic. I, you know, and the romantic in me looks at it, I think it's more, they, obviously there's more of a, it's a more, it's a more difficult way to be accepted and, you know, it's a, a, more of a struggle. But I, I think it's the way forward with the human rights. I think everyone should intermingle and love each other, to be quite honest. And there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm 34 now. I'm with a partner. She's a white girl. Mm. She's absolutely gorgeous. And but I'm not with her because she's white. Well, that's the whole she's thing. Gorgeous. And uh, I've been on a blind date with a black girl before. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, when I went to primary school, there was maybe four or five different colours in the class yeah. mixture. And secondary school a little bit more. So you, you you grow up and there's a bit of peer pressure. But when I hit about 25, it's like someone took the the black and white glasses off my face. Mm. I could see all these Asian girls that were lovely, these black women that were lovely. And, so, and I think, my, I've got three sons. Mm. I think they will benefit even more so. Mm. You know, I, I don't see there's any problem, or, and I don't think it should be an issue about someone's going for someone for money or for status, because, you know, what's, what's that all about? There's black women with white men in the streets of Catford, there's white women with black men in the streets of Catford. Well, what not crossing you... over into the Asian uh, side just yet, because... It, it, but, it, but it will do. It and will. The white guys, um, yeah. yeah, it will do. The it white will. guys are a bit slow behind the white women. And I've, when you, we talk about like institutionalised racism here, there, and everywhere, and the Big Brother, I don't see it. To be honest, I see white women, black guys, black guys, white women, mm -hmm. and more power to everyone that, that goes for it. You know, it's difficult because sometimes when you, you go out, you mix in the same groups. And I, you know, I might go out to Beckham or Bromley, and you might not see a lot of black girls. You know, you, if you move into different areas, you might do. But I'll go out with a, a couple of black mates and, you know, my training buddies, and we just, it's just great. What would you it's say if I, what, what, what would you say if I said, this is only a felt theory, this is not mm -hmm. courtesy of the BBC, but if I said that men who really like women, really like women, fancy all kinds of women, and women who are really into men and into sex as well, fancy absolutely. all kinds of men. That's what I think is true. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. I don't think you can be choosy. I, I've not got a preference. As long as someone smiles and just as a, a lovely personality. Yeah, and when and someone's that, sexy, they're, cliche, they're sexy. And that's yeah. it. Yeah, and it, it, it's not about a five foot nine, no. five eight figure. It's about a smile and a real naughty glint in her eyes. That's what I think but it's that. Which, yeah, and it doesn't have to be rude or... No. It just has to be, you know, come and get me, you know, come and go, go for it. And as a white guy, you know, it's, it's, it is difficult, it is harder getting the smile mm. that you'd like off, um, you know, 
uh, black girls sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, it does seem a, it's, it's, there is a bit of a barrier there. It's not an attitude. I ain't saying that, that, that at all because that's a negative thing to say. Mm-hmm. But there is a bit of a barrier, mm-hmm. and I think that is breaking, uh, getting more and more uh, broken down as time goes by. And James, so uh, thanks for the call, sweetie. I'm going to move on just because we've got loads and we're coming to the end of the show. On the line, Tony in Peckham. Tony, morning. Good morning, man. How you doing? I'm all right, thank you. So you've got a thesis going on here about what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like women, yes. you know, but the thing about that, um, my mom used to say, you know, if you're left and offend you or you're right and offend you, cut it off. You know, I get to the point where now I think I chop the arms off because um, I have dated a lot of black women, I have dated a lot of white women. Yes. And the problem is that if I date a white woman, mm. if, I, if I have 10 white women and I go to their house mm. and just say I stay just like 2 in the morning mm. and I say, well, babe, I'm getting ready to go home. Mm. The first thing I looked at me and says, um, well, how are you getting home? And I said, well, I'll take the bus. They says, why don't you stay here? Or, um, you know, why don't you take my car and bring it back in the morning? Mm-hmm. Okay. On the other hand, if I go to a black woman's house, I say, babe, I'm leaving now. She's like, oh, okay, then she escort me to the door and that's it. You got to go. And, and I could say to you, you're, you're as guilty of making generalizations as Philippe or George or anybody else who's phoned the show. Can that be true of all white women and all black women? It can't I, I see. I see that. No, no. The majority of the white women is just like that. They just, they just, they're, they're more delicate. They're more sensitive. You know. Another thing again. You know, with a black woman, if you're in the house yeah. and she go take a shower, yeah. and she's coming out of the shower, she got an overall on like she's going to do mechanic work. A white white woman, she's coming out of the shower. She got her teddies on, and you know, a nice little lingerie on, and all her stuff. You're making these enormous generalizations. You'll be annoying everyone, no, Tony. No, I'm not everyone. It up. Just I'm calm down after Philippe's call. You're going to be annoying them again. I'm not making it up. Oh, Lord. It's something that, de- that definitely happened. I'm not making it up. Okay, I'm 45 years old. I'm not making it up. I've been there, done that. Could it be true? Could it be true? This is, is a true. Th- this now, is hang on, hang on. Could it, could it be true? This is a fact. That, and this is an enormous generalization yet again, but could it be true? That it bl- is true. Now, hang on, hang on. That black women have had it tougher just by virtue of being black. They've had that thing where they walk into a shop, whereas a white woman walks in, maybe the shop assistant smiles, maybe a black woman walks in, they don't smile, they give them a look of suspicion. Life is simply tougher, and therefore, black women, by, by nature, of virtue of being black, will be slightly more... I, a little tougher to be around. Could that be true? Is that what you're trying that's to how say? You, how you present yourself. If, if you're going to walk into a store, yeah. you've got to present yourself you know, in, in a certain way where you know, the person can't smile. Yeah, some black women, man, they, if you look at them, you just want to run. They don't smile. Well, what about some white women? They're terrifying. No, no, no. I, 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 look I, on Jeremy I, Kyle. You'll see some shockers. You want to run a million miles no, away. me, man. I've been around. I, I, I know the game. Uh, I know the game. I love these women that have a shower and come out and put on their overalls ready to do some mechanical work. These black women you find. Yeah. Oh, what a load of rubbish. I don't believe you. I think you're, I think you're funny and amusing, but I, I don't believe I could, it's true. I, I, I used to date a, black, date a black girl from the Bahamas. Yes. And I told her she hit me for life because I told her that. I said, when you black women come out of the shower, you got to dress presentable. You know, you're coming towards your man. Yeah. You know, you got to have a nice little teddy going or something going on here. You can't be coming out with these rolls in your head and like you go, you know, overalls. <laughs> I'm, la- that. I'm laughing because you're funny, but you know you're very naughty and most wicked, and you're going to be annoying everybody. Tony, thanks for the call. When you heard what he said, you don't really need me to repeat it. Black women and white women said to you, a white woman will say to you, how are you getting home? And you say, well, I'm really stuck, baby, and she'll say, take my car. Uh, a black woman will say, yeah, see you later or something. And he said, a black woman goes into a shower, she comes out, he says she puts her overalls on and curlers in her hair, a white woman comes out in a teddy, and she's got a whole negligee thing going on. Come on, this is absurd isn't it this is kind of a more humorous version of what philippe said slightly less offensive but also has to be not true surely on the line lola in deptford lola you don't come out of the shower in your overalls with the curlers on do you vanessa i have no idea what the previous call is talking about yeah what is he talking about i think he needs a health check (laughs) it's just rubbish personally you know i'm a black woman and um i don't um sort of like identify with any of the things that he said about black people um but anyway, I think what I was calling about was the uh, one of your previous callers about um, people being uncomfortable to be seen together, particularly if they're mixed race relationship. That's right. And he said if the woman's black and the man's white, then the woman always looks like the man or looks like she's in charge or something like that, didn't yeah. he? So that was George. I just really wonder what holy called out of Vanessa. Mm-hmm. I feel a little sorry for the gentleman because I couldn't understand anything he was saying or where he would even bring his ideas from. Uh-huh. You know, I'm a, a black Jamaican. I'm married to a, a very upstanding fan upstanding intelligent um, Italian gentleman mm. and it's wonderful mm. we met there was a chemistry 
mm. he has a personality but mm. absolutely no problem mm. being seen publicly or otherwise yeah. with him yeah. so um, you know I'm just thinking if this gentleman has it seems to me like he has an issue and he's not the only one that seems to have an issue on the program this morning no. but where did this debate begin um, Vanessa I'm not quite sure because I didn't hear the beginning. it all started with an email a most simple email I got yesterday which is probably now buried under thousands of other emails oh here it is just found it from Keith it arrived yesterday morning and all he said was of all the black people in the limelight in this country how many of them are in black relationships question mark two percent question mark and that was all that's how it started mm. Mm. well I mean so what's the problem with that is what I wanted to ask this gentleman because you know I know that there's a lot of people who struggle very hard to be recognized in society yet alone being in the limelight yeah. you know and if they're married to or they, they have these situations I mean uh, I see saying that they're choosing them specifically I mean I'm not quite sure what his argument really is well we've been trying to dissect it all morning we're, we're <laughs> daggers drawn huh? we're <laughs> pulling out fistfuls of each other's hair we've been grossly insulting to yeah. almost everybody really all really? morning but yeah. really, all I want to say is to the the, the black men that have called into the program with very negative views of black women. I yeah. just really want them to think again and take a look around them. Look at the work and the hard efforts that these women are putting into society to try and bring about change. Yeah. What is he talking about? What kind of people is he uh, influencing him? Mm -hmm. Where does he get his ideas from? Where do they get their ideas from? I'd really like them to think about the things that they're saying and doing. You know, uh, we have a multicultural society. People meet they get on because there's a, a, a natural chemistry. Mm. If they happen to be from different sides of the world, I don't see that there's a problem. Lola, thanks for the call. Let's go to Linda in Kingston. Hello, Linda. Hello, Vanessa. So you've got it going on from your own brother here. I have, oh, Vanessa. God. I just want to basically stress, so that you are aware. <laughs> um, what Philippe said, I, I totally, I can uh, associate with it 100%. Mm. I understand my brother's dating a Russian woman, mm. which is fine, you mm. know, but the thing is, we weren't obviously born and brought up in this country. Mm. But obviously when we first came over, he tried really hard to get accepted. Mm. And in doing that, obviously he, he sort of adopted the whole... Jamaican slang, mm. getting involved in obviously trying to be accepted. Yeah, yeah. And as he, as he sort of grew up through the ranks and got the education and became professional and started working, he obviously adopted the whole, I'm professional now, I need to have a sort of a white partner to, you know... Do you, uh, think, do you think he actually made that as a conscious decision? I think he did. Because, really? You know, we've, we've had conversations and, you know, the whole hair extension thing, I yeah. just think it's so... <laughs> it's so <laughs> overdone. You know, everybody wears hair extensions. It's not, you know, it's far and far between. I think, yes, you can have hair extension that looks nice as mm. well as you can have it that looks trashy. It's mm. not, you know, as long as a woman's going to uh, efforts to make herself presentable, I mm. think that's all that matters. Mm. But, yeah, you know, I've heard things come out of his mouth that I would have never thought would come out of a, a, a young black man's mouth. I mean, you know, even me as a, as a young black woman... It's funny because I was having this conversation with my sister the mm. other day and I get approached by white men. Mm. Black men do not even approach me. I've got mixed race friends who, you know, if they're lucky, they'll get approached by white men, but, um, by black men. Mm. But yeah, the way it is. So, so black men will, will, will you, you seriously, you'll go out for an evening and, and anyone who comes on to you will not be black. They'll always be white, really. Always. Um, Spanish, Italian, right. you name it. Anything but black. I mean, I'm, I'm young enough to know. Uh, recently, you know, I, I, I sort of go to the China Whites and, mm. and th those sorts of nightclubs mm. and you know, uh, if, if you see a black man, even the eye contact is a waste of time. And I think also as well, this sort of way of thinking yeah. has allowed white women, uh, especially in that sort of scene, to think that they're slightly more superior to black women. I mean, you, you, you know, you, you find a sexual tweedy situation where, you know, it's okay for them to look down, to insult, to, to basically to abuse black women and make them feel like they're nothing. But what I really want to stress is that these black men are coming from black women yeah. and these black women are doing something very wrong yeah. if they're raising their children to make them feel yeah. that you need to go out with somebody of lighter skin or you need to be with somebody who is unlike your own to make you feel like you're successful and I think these black women you know whether it's single parents or whether or not the, the, the black role models a father disappears and whether or not they start dating white women simply because they can't settle down I mean I don't exactly know what it is um, you know I have no uh, qualms with mixed relationships I, I think it's fantastic and mm. if they love each other that's great mm. but if you feel the need to put somebody down to, 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 to let no, yourself there go should forward be no need. There's, nothing there's, to there's do with it wrong. is it it's nothing to but do one thing's nothing to do with the other linda thank you for the call can't believe we're getting so many calls all morning for beautiful attractive articulate highly individual fascinating black women ring i i can't see you but you can just tell by the vigor and by the sort of enthusiasm and the and the panache of the calls that these are not boring ordinary 
depressing women. They're just incredibly in attractive, intelligent women. It's obvious, isn't it? And, and they say they're just absolutely looked through by black men who look right past them to the white women at the other side of the room. What the hell's going on on the line? Phyllis in Camberwell. Hello, Phyllis. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I'm fine. Have you been surprised by any of the calls today, or did you just expect right. this type of I've, thing? I've been horrified. Horrified, yeah. Horrified. I don't, I, to be honest with you, I'm mm. not going to listen to the radio this time. Mm. And um, I'm with my nephew. He's not very well today. So we're just on our way to Ikea to buy some bits and pieces. We wish wow. him better. The meatball should make him feel better. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, just listening to the show... I just cannot believe how many ignorant people that are out there that don't know about their heritage, that don't know about their culture, that mm. are ashamed and embarrassed mm. about their culture, and that feel no way to say something so, I, I, I don't even know, I can't even describe it, mm. on national radio. Sure. You know, you're not only disgracing yourself, you're disgracing your mum, your aunt, any woman that you know that, that happens to be black, and mm. if you are a black man, then that's the majority of your family. Mm. And, you know, I think at, at a time like this when there's so much change going on and a lot of people are really trying to make a stand, really, and to make, make themselves noticed in this world, I think it's a shame that people still have this kind of backwards way of thinking. Yeah. I'm a designer. I uh, started from literally nothing. Mm. I used to be a self-assistant. I still am a self-assistant. Mm. Um, I've got my own label. Um, I've been featured in various magazines, mm. various international magazines. Good for I, you. I now stock New York. I stock at Atlanta. Wow. Um, what's I the name of your? What's Island. the name of your? It's your... Sika. Okay. S i k a. Sika Design. Okay. And um, you know, I just I've done so much in such a sh well, not such a short space of time, but if you look at it, such a short space of time, and mm. I think that if you apply yourself, you can do anything. So I don't understand where these people get in the notion that black women are useless when there are so many people. Not only me, I, I definitely am not the only one. Mm. Not only me that are doing, you know, making leaps and bounds. Really, in, I feel in, in bad, Phyllis. I feel bad that you feel that you've got to ring me and be some kind of advert for black women. It makes me feel sick. It's actually embarrassing. You know, I don't like it. I'm calling God for my nephew. Yeah. Actually, the fact that he's sitting here listening to this, you know, you're getting mixed signals like, okay, maybe it is bad to be black. Maybe it's bad to be walking with a black woman. If you're a black woman mm. and you've got a bad weed or you're a black woman and you've got, you're big or whatever, yeah. there's always going to be somebody out there who appreciates you. Some there people is. like women with bad weed. Some people like skinny <laughs> with no breath. Not sure about bad like, weed. I'm not sure no, about the bad weed. people do, mm. seriously. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it you know like I, I don't know I'm not really into that kind of look but some people like wearing wig caps and those kind of things for me that's not me but for, mm. there's obviously a, a, um, a market out there people like it yeah. so you know I think live and let live really let if that's how you are and that's the kind of person that you are and, and you're getting a tr a attention from that someone shouldn't turn around to you and say that you look hideous of course they I mean, shouldn't you, the, the thing this guy was saying I've forgotten his name Felipe yeah yeah it was so strong that up till now I'm still shaking that there's actually someone crawling on this earth that has that way of, of, of thinking I mean he's just so unintelligent so backwards in yeah. his thinking he, he really needs to go back to school and, 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 and think again about his choice of words, how to put things, if, 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 you know, if that's how you feel, maybe it's something that you and your friends should discuss in private. You don't need to come on national radio to, to make it obvious to other people because I think also white people might not understand where he's coming from and might think that that's the majority and it's not obviously you know it's you, not um, I, th I think you've told him phyllis i think you've i think you've given him what for you can relax now go to ikea knowing that you did a hell of a good job well done thanks for the call the last two women that you've had on have absolutely echoed my sentiments good. one thing i've got to commend you vanessa you have gone today where no other presenter has gone thank and you it's been a burning question of mine for ages mm. why why is it that there are so many aspiring black men up there who've done a good job, give them credit, but yeah. why have they got to have, you know, white partners? Now, I'm all for an integrated society. I think it's absolutely fantastic mm. that we're getting on. But Philippe incensed me. I was so angry and yet so saddened. Mm. Um, I've just had a son. He's 10 weeks old. Um, and I, I, I just wouldn't like him to go out with those kind of views. Well, you'll make um, sure he doesn't, of course. No, obviously I, I will make sure he doesn't, mm. but Philippe, you know, he, I look at my mother, I look at what my mother's told me that she went through when she came into this country, um, you know, the struggles that they went through. I'm, I'm not just talking about, obviously, the slavery of our ancestors, mm. but I'm talking about the generation that came through on the Windrush, what we went through. You know, my mother told me how she walked on the street and, and white people spat at her. She couldn't get a room yep. in, in, in a, a bed and breakfast or anything like that. 
And then you've got the likes of Philippe who turn around and say that black women are uh, repulsive, we're disgusting, you know, are we... He, he, he attacks every single um, part yeah. of, 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 of a black woman's being. It's just, it was terrible. I was absolutely appalled, and I'm glad that black people, black women, have had the strength today to pick up the phone and absolutely rubbish what he's saying. Actually, both black and white callers have actually said that. What he said is, is absolutely wrong, and it's, it, it's absolutely appalling, Vanessa. I agree. I, I, I couldn't believe what he was saying. I was, I was actually aghast, and for a, for, for a couple of seconds, I had to sort of miss a beat, thinking, oh, what did you actually say? Absolutely disgraceful. Thank you very much indeed uh, for the call. This is from uh, Shariah. She says, black women are repulsive. What an ignorant statement. Has he ever thought about the mixed-race children that he'll have in his interracial relationship? They'll be classed as being black, and therefore put, he's put down his kids of the future. I'm a 20-year-old black woman. I don't consider myself to be pretty, but my boyfriend does. I'm a size 10, really petite, big bum, ample breasts. I'm not a beast, nor do I squeeze into the things that are too small and proud of being a black woman with attitude who likes to kiss her teeth but does it with some class i'm nothing against dating outside your race but i have a problem with degrading your own race that man needs to meet a real black woman then maybe he'd learn something we've struggled in this world to get somewhere and to have that brings us down um, and let me just read you this. I'm Japanese and my boyfriend's Chinese. While it may seem we're racially similar, the Chinese community is very hostile. I've actually been spat on. To that Rastafarian George who said he wanted to strengthen his race, I don't need another Japanese man to be proud of who I am. And there is so much more where those came from. I can't tell you. I mean, you can hear that they're, they're just, just volumes of, of texts and emails, lots of, of outrage, lots of humor, lots of resilience, lots of intelligence, lots of of, of va -va voom as usual, lots of and tremendous vim and vigor thank you so much everyone who joined in the show today um and uh, and it was fascinating as as it almost always is i think and thank you very much indeed and thanks to the team uh, Gemma producing today max out there reporting uh jamie driving the desk anita and becky taking calls at one point becky got so flustered she actually proposed marriage to one of the callers i don't know whether she meant it or not but there were just so many calls nobody knew what they were doing thank you very much indeed we'll be back in the morning lots of love and bye bye